Now, y'all seen how the pastor, okay, was telling them that, you know, and people in the, in the uh, congregation was getting antsy, too. You see what I'm saying? They couldn't even, you know, sit in their seat, right, when he got to talking about slavery, okay? And what did he say? We, uh, you know, ashamed of our own history. We ashamed of slavery, okay? See what I'm saying? But see, if you knew what happened before slavery, see what I'm saying? You will understand what's really going on. OK, so again, like this video, subscribe to King Jah Power, go over there to the throne of King Jah Power and subscribe to God Jah Power and subscribe. OK, like all the damn video. OK, and so let me get to the second part of this video right quick. Now, now this right here is a uh, let me make sure it don't run. Boom. We good. This right here is a thumbnail from the, 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 you know, the other side, the copper ops, you know what I'm saying? FBA and all of them. Okay. See these people right here that y'all see. Okay. Baby Ruth. Okay. Uh, Hoover and Webster. Okay. Hoover, the FBI and Webster. Okay. From Webster's dictionary. Okay. Now look at the caption down below. It says historical figures. You thought was white. Okay. Okay. See what I'm saying? They is anti-black. They anti-African. Okay. We know these goofy looking at people as enemies to black people. Period. Period. Every last damn one of them. Babe Ruth was a racist. Period. Don't lie. He ain't want them Negroes to come in and leave because they can hit harder than him. Let's just be real. Okay. Let's just be real. Okay. And, you know... Hoover, the Cointel Pro, and then Webster, see what I'm saying? When then, you know, he was a racist, period, period. He got all them lies in the Webster's Dictionary where black mean, you know, don't, is no color, mean, you know, uh, all these degrading ass words. That's him. See what I'm saying? And black people hold on, okay, to Webster, okay? They hold on to that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. And up, why did y'all put this right here up here? Okay, okay, okay. I bang on you. I bang on you, and I never forget neither. Okay? So, now you see, like I say, these peoples, if they was for black people, okay, they would not sit up here and say historical figures who you thought was white, and we know these peoples is damn white. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Look at it. See? Let me move on. Now, make sure we rolling because I got to, I got to make sure we rolling. Yeah, we still rolling. All right, bet. Now, like this video, like I said, because I got a video I want to play at the end. Now, so this is our great. See, this is what the other side don't got. They don't got no references like these. Okay, they don't got no ancestors that they can go to, no elders they can go to to give them the knowledge. See, the elders gave us the key. Okay, now we in front driving, everybody mad. Oh, I ain't listening to them. I ain't listening to them. See what I'm saying? Because we all saying, hey, see what I'm saying? But we are, we they students. See, they trained us to come out here in the community and inflict, infect y'all with some black power consciousness. Okay, with some pan-African consciousness. Okay, with some Gavi and some Salasia. You see what I'm saying? That's what they told us to do. Okay. And get the building the nation in your mind. See what I'm saying first. And then we go physically build it on the ground in Africa. That's what happened. And so now, a hundred years later, you know, after the Marcus Garvey era, we, you know, African Americans and Africans in the diaspora, Jamaica, Bahamas, Cuba, Haiti, all over, Colombia is listening in Brazil, going to Africa. Period. And now African Americans don't know what to do. See what I'm saying? The numbers is already low. Okay, I'm just telling you. See, I'm just telling you. The numbers is already low. Okay. You third in population. So they're like, man, y'all, y'all can't leave. Y'all can't leave. They don't kill our ass. <laughs> That's what they feel like, bro. Okay? That's what it is. They don't kill us, yo. If see, pan Africanism is the army for the black community. And if we leave, they're going to chew y'all little ass up. Okay, period. 
And that's why these niggas, ah, man, what y'all go, going over there for? We trying to get away from these folk. See what I'm saying, folks? Somebody get in trouble or get killed. I'm just telling. I'm just telling. I'm just being real. See what I'm saying? Let him have this. This ain't where we need to be. Okay, so the great uh, elder, Asa Hillier, says the education of African people is an urgent necessity. It's an urgent necessity. All right? Is a matter of life and death. That's critical. It's a matter of life and death that you wake your black ass up. I'm telling you. I'm telling you right now. I can't wake you up by sitting up here trying to teach like some, you know, professor or whatever. Nah. Nah, you need to wake up. Y'all need black power. I be listening to y'all. You see what I'm saying? I'm talking about all y'all in all the communities or whatever. And y'all try to talk like professors, okay, <laughs> to try to get these people's attention. I'm the, you, you can't wake nobody up like that. That's why we still the same. See what I'm saying? When I come in, I go to, you You need that energy. See, it's, the, it's about that energy, like I will talk about uh, on part one, okay? It, it, you know, them lights and shit. That shit bring energy. You know what I'm saying? I'm filled up. You see what I'm saying? With vibranium right now. I'm just trying to tell you. See? You know what I mean? But it's a, you know, the education of African people is an urgent necessity. It is a matter of life and death. If we cannot abide, okay, let me put up. We cannot abide another generation of children, okay, uh, who have no identity and who are ignorant about Africa. See what I'm saying? You, There is no way you can walk on this earth, okay, and not recognize your motherland as your motherland. Period. There's no way in the world you can do that. That detrimental to the community. You don't know who you are. If you saying all that other shit, we some, you know, Moors and Indians or whatnot, nigga, you better go. Okay, the Israelites, at least they know they from Israel. Okay, damn. See what I'm saying? Y'all can't even get on that level. See what I'm saying? That's, you know, early in the game. See, I went through all them communities. The only one that fit me, see what I'm saying, I, I, you know, was the Rastafari community and, you know, kind of, you know, the comedic community. They talked the right, you know what I'm saying? It, it had an energy. See, I don't know nothing about the energies and vibes and sound waves from the elders. See, you know, that you can get a vibe off of. You see what I'm saying? Like I was talking on the other one, the Jesus Ouija board. <laughs> Y'all are some goofies. Like this video. Now, let me go to the next. See, because we talk about, you know, everything but unity. See what I'm saying? And then they, you know, FBA fake head, got the nerve to get up here and say, you know, you know, talk crazy about, you know, our African brothers and sisters, uh, you know, uh, Caribbean brothers and sisters, uh, you know, our brothers and sisters in Europe, you got, you going to corner yourself in a little, you know, room called America, okay, and China, you know, you know, might hit this motherfucker, period. Then what you going to do? Then what you going to do when them Black Panthers was getting killed, okay, they realized, hold on, the, you know, the Pan-Africans was right, yeah, we need to get the hell up out of here. And that's what they done. The one that listen, the one that did in the grave. Okay, in the grave. In the grave. See? In the grave. So the Haitian Revolution is the greatest example of what Africans can achieve through unity. Not 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 through, you know, uh xenophobia. Okay? Not through that. Ain't, ain't no energy in it. See what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Y'all just like you know, a couple clicks and some views and shit. But what is they going to do for the uh, life and well-being of black people? How are they going to help police goddamn corruption where they, you know, taking their billy club upside your head? Well, how are they going to, what they going to do? Because you got a click on YouTube. Stop it. Stop it. You were goofy. See, this, the uh, channels y'all need to be clicking on. See what I'm saying? Because this the fire. You see, this the fire. See, we ain't the mother little goofies. See, we bring the heat every time. See what I'm saying now? This with these low energy goofies is on. Okay? Where the energy in it? Where, where the energy? Where the energy? Where the energy in it? Ain't no energy in that. Where is that? I don't see. See? 
They take one Africans, all phenotypes of the world belong to Africa. See, you got Africans with a long nose, with a big nose, with a skinny nose. Some of them light skin, some of them brown, some of them triple black, some of them darker than the darkest night. See, and some of them, you know, white looking. You know, you know, our albino brothers and sisters. Now, y'all got one of them over there in y'all community. Okay, he know, you know, he not going to, you know, you know, be accepted in Africa fully, you know, because you got that white skin, period. I'm just telling you, I'm telling you, let me tell y'all this quick story. And I'm not banging on them. They beautiful. They're my brothers and sisters. See, we just need to put some seeds up and bend them again. So, you know, and get that up out of there. You see what I'm saying? Because, you know, that's not healthy in Africa, period. That's why this, you know, albino goofy, not all albinos, y'all, our brothers and sisters, we love y'all. It's a goofy that's an LBA, okay? Be trying to, he coming on my page, coming on all the brothers, pan-Africanism, strike back, uh, uh, all of them, you know what I mean? afro thing tank, they on all the brothers' pages. You see what I'm saying? They be some little albinos or whatever. Nigga, get out of here, goofy. Okay? Get out of here. So, African people a long time ago, you see what I'm saying, from the beginning, took them because they realized that the albino people couldn't survive in the sun. I'm just telling you. So, they took them to Europe in an environment that was more temperate to their skin color. Period. It was too hot in Africa, so they took them to Europe. And so today you got a thing called albino Dravidians. Now, when you go look at an albino Dravidian, you will understand, you know, where the snowman come from. I'm just going to tell you. I'm just going to tell you. See what I'm saying? Y'all make it seem like he come from Africans. No, he don't. He come from Asia. He come from Asia. Yeah, he came from Cheddar Man now. See what I'm saying? Cheddar Man now. Look up Cheddar Man. That's where the white man came from. I'm just saying. I'm just telling you. Them was the first Africans that went into Asia and made it with them Neanderthals. I'm just telling you. I'm just, that's where it come from. That's all that a Mayan is. See? See? I'm banging on you. That's all that an Aztec is. So them dark skin, dark skin, dark skin Indians y'all talking about. Okay? It's Neanderthals. I just showed y'all they were Sasquatch cousin. Goofy. See, and they y'all's our brothers and sisters too. The peoples in India on here listen. Y'all already know y'all. I'm just talking about a certain section of our black world, okay, want to corner themselves in some little, you know, pocket, okay, because that's about a big three little three thousand miles. You got one country in Africa that's bigger than the whole United States. It's called the Sudan. One. Negro Africa, 12 million. You got 3,000. Stop it. From coast to coast, this little ass place, you take one little hit, this whole shit going up under the water like Atlantis. All right? Period. Make sure we still there. We good. We good. All right. So just because you see one big nose African, I've seen them use Scotty Pippen, okay? Don't you see them use Scotty? Just because you got one big nose African, Okay, that's not the whole people. See, my damn nose don't look like that. Okay, only nose look like that in my family is big red. Okay, period. That's one man. This one man showed us a population of people that look like that. You can't. You can't. Unless you go to Africa. Period. <laughs> so hold up. Hold up. Hold up. So listen to this right quick. Make sure this thing. Hold up. We still rock. Now. I got this video, like the video, family. Subscribe to King Job Power. This video going to show y'all, okay, that Africans, this right here is the underground, where Africans was running from the uh, plantation, okay, to the Indian camps. And that was the only way they can get free. And once the European found out that's what Africans was doing, okay, lying, okay, they could see you were lying because you was black, period, okay? And that relationship wasn't always good with the blacks and the Indians. The Indians would turn most of y'all goofies in when y'all run over there. Yo, help us, yo, the white man out there. You hear what I'm saying? They hear them goddamn dogs and shit, see them lanterns and shit in the distance, them damn horses and shit. These Negroes will get, all right, come on, come on, come on. 
soon as the white man get right there, they behind that tree over there. And he'll pay the Indian, you know, for turning y'all. I'm just telling you. I'm just telling you so you can say all that goofy, goofy, even though you don't speak none of the language, you don't eat none of the food, you don't know nothing about it, but you some type of way is a magical, invisible Indian. Stop it, Negro. You can't get down with King Jop Power. Your arm's too short to box with God. That's just what it is. You ain't learned enough yet. Go somewhere. All right. So y'all like this video right here and listen to this right quick. Prove my point. You don't have to trust him. You have to trust me. Okay. We can't find those Indians. We keep following the song. You know what I think of it? You I'm going to let him run again so you get a good message. Okay. We can't find those Indians. We keep following the song. You know what I think See? of it? He said we can't find the Indians. We going to keep following the star. Talking about the North Star. See what I'm saying? They was looking for the Indians for refuge. It wasn't that we was Indians. Okay? So quit with the goofy, nigga. You busted these two videos right here. Just bust y'all down. Just bust you down because I asked you what's your religion. 99% of the people that's in these little Indian fake black goofy camps or whatnot, I guarantee you a Christian. Okay? I know this. Don't try to play with me because you don't know nothing else. They prove your ass came up off that slave boat. Don't play with me. Don't play with me because I ain't the one. I'm going to let you know that right now. Hang on. I got you. I got, I'm going to come right now. I'm going to come right now. Hey, so family, y'all like this video. I'm going to let it run one more time. Let it burn on your forehead. See, I'm going to let it burn on your forehead one more time. See, running to the Indians for freedom. You not no Indian. Trust him. You trust me. Okay. And y'all see, I say, y'all, y'all, you ain't got to trust him talking about the white man. See, we never trusted the white man and y'all out here goofy trying to snuggle up next to him. But listen, you don't have to trust him. Trust me. Okay. We can't find those Indians. We can't find them. You got to find them Indians, man. You got to find the Indians. What you looking for, an Indian folk, if you already an Indian, okay, you supposed to already know the land. If you was an Indian, that show your ass ain't come from over here. You know the land we know. You know the land we know. That big ass pork chop in the middle of the planet with all them Negroes on it. That y'all try to act like don't it, invisible. It's, it's, it's you know you know some place in the clouds. <laughs> That's where you from, okay? See, because if you was an Indian, you would already know the land. You wouldn't be looking.